ever hear the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the White? Can you all believe that we are just one day away from the big day? This will be my last video before The Last Jedi movie comes out tomorrow. Now, one of the things that is really being mentioned with a lot of the reviews I've been seeing is the fact that there's actually quite a bit of prequel connections between The Last Jedi and the prequel trilogy, especially when it comes to the mythos of the Force. Now, one of the things that I've also heard is that this is a spiritual movie as well. Empire Strikes Back was also pretty heavy on the spiritual aspect of the Force as well. The movie supposedly really makes this question what's come beforehand and meant to start a ton of fan debate and discussion. So with those two things in mind, let's delve into what could possibly be the themes that are talked about in this film and why it will change our belief and understanding. Now, what exactly did the prequel talk about that wasn't talked about in the original trilogy? Only a few things to tell you the truth. The Clone Wars really goes into stuff not talked about, but my understanding is that this is strictly for the movies, and that's where we're going to keep this at. The most obvious is midichlorians. Midichlorians help the Jedi determine who's capable of truly using the Force. They act as connectors and interpreters, connecting sentient beings to the Force so they can hear and act upon the will of the Force. I don't think midichlorians are going to be talked about. The crap storm that surrounded these little guys introduction in The Phantom Menace put another stain on the prequel trilogy. It has resulted in them being all but disavowed by the new heads of Lucasfilm and I doubt they'll be mentioned at all. Next scene that was heavily talked about was the prophecy of the Chosen One, a prophecy that stated that the Sith would be destroyed and the Force brought into balance. It also stated that the Force would not be left in darkness. Now this I do believe will be talked about in the film. Yoda suggests in Revenge of the Sith that it was a prophecy misread. I think we will learn that the prophecy was never about bringing the Force into balance per se, but instead was only referring to the destruction of the Sith. The third thing that they go into the prequels is the Jedi Code, more specifically the lack of attachments and forbidding of romance. That attachment begat jealousy and jealousy was a shadow of greed. From there, it was only a matter of time before the attached would fall to the dark side. What if it was that this had somehow hampered the Force? What if the celibacy of the Jedi denied the Force the opportunity to flow more strongly in the galaxy by having Force-strong parents bringing Force-strong children into the galaxy, and that's why the Force chalked the Jedi up for decimation? I think that this would be a very interesting topic to delve into, so perhaps they will. The last thing that really sticks out to me is the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise, his ability to stop death and create life. Nothing remotely close to this is ever mentioned in the original trilogy, although in Legends, Cad Skywalker, the great-grandson of Luke Skywalker, was able to use the Force to bring back the recently killed and heal even the most stubborn diseases. I really want this to be true, that they talk about Plagueis. It would affirm once and for all in the films that Plagueis indeed lived and wasn't just a story. In the book Tarkin, it was established that indeed he was Palpatine's master and he had indeed been pursuing the answers to immortality. But only hardcore Star Wars fans read these books, and I know many movie-only fans that believe that Plagueis was a story made up on the spot by Palpatine. Now, with all that said, I think we will learn that indeed there is power to save the dying from death, and Snoke has discovered that secret. But what was missing from all the studies that came beforehand was that in order to save life, you must take life. So, life pays for life. Now, with these several themes that has been mentioned, what will we learn? I think that we will learn that everything we've ever heard was skewed and missing many pieces. That the dogmatic view of the Jedi, which is the lens by which most of our movie and TV show canon is focused through, is indeed too limited. It will be, as Palpatine said, that to be a wise leader, one must embrace a larger aspect of the grand mystery. And that the further into the Force you go, the deeper the secrets are, the more it will cost you. And the best way to preserve yourself is never to delve too deeply into the Force. Anyways, that's it for today, guys. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you think will be the connection between the prequel trilogy and The Last Jedi? If you've seen the movie already, I ask you not to put spoilers in the comment section down below. That way, everyone can go see the movie without fear of having the experience ruined for them, since many people don't like having things told to them beforehand. Now, I'm going to upload my initial reaction after returning the, from the movie on Thursday. I am seeing it at the very first screening at my theater. Then on Sunday, I will be releasing my spoiler review. Have a wonderful day, and may the Force be with you.